Hi, I'm Julie Scher, and today we're going to do some movements that help to release head tension. So whether it's a headache or it's just a few places in your neck that has tension, this is what I'm addressing today according to traditional Chinese medicine. So the first thing that we're going to do is warm up our hands. Close your eyes, lift up your chest, and notice where your breath is. Now imagine all of the energy going from palm to palm. So we're making a bit of this pulling of attraction and repulsion between our palm to palm. And when you can feel it like a magnet, that one side is plus and the other side is minus, then you're going in the right direction. Right. So we're going to start tapping at the top of our head. That has to do with the stomach, sides, liver, back of the head, all bladder. Kidney, sides of the neck, small intestines, large intestines, even right here on the thyroid to help the direction of the body. And tap at your forehead, heart. Because sometimes when we have a headache, it's because we didn't express something to someone that we really care about and shake it off. Good. Now let's go to your feet. I know that sounds really strange, but there is a connection from head to toe. So we're going to first take this first batter point and tap a little bit here. And then we're going to go to the sole of your foot and tap. Like you can cradle up your leg and warm up your hip a little bit. That's great. And just take a little tap here at the side of your hip. And inhale and exhale. Yeah, breathing is great. So tap again at the first bladder point. That's at the ball of your foot. And then go to the circle part of your foot right here, the sole of your foot, and tap opening up your solar plexus and then we're going to go ahead and cradle up your knee and open up your hip a little bit. Great. Now the next exercise we're going to do, you really need to see my, my toes, is called toe tapping. So my hands are only about one palm behind me, and I'm not really s sitting on my palms at all, and the points are towards my bottom. And I just tap my feet like this, and you can say, oh wow, Julie, that's really super easy. And I say, yep, it is. But what it does is it takes all of the things that may be numb or cold down by your feet or your bottom of your legs, and brings them up and starts to warm up your body from your legs to your first and second chakra. So that's really, really good. So as a helper, you know that my feet are now like windshield wipers going like this. I'm gonna go ahead and activate our hands. So we're gonna make a circle and tap at our kidneys at the same time. So we're using all our parts. So relax your neck in the process. You're tapping your toes still, and you're tapping at your kidney and adrenals. Good. Shaking that off. So the next thing we're going to do to help our head is you need to take a look at my feet. So my feet are curling. My toes are curling. Good, and I'm lifting up at my chest. I'm just trying to get used to this position. 
because it's not a very, very comfortable position. As you can see, I'm kind of backing up a little bit because it hurts. But those little points that are, are underneath your toes right here are really important. You might want to go ahead and use your hands and manipulate the points before we start. So you're just touching those points. Again, touch the points that are underneath at the top of your toes. That's the indoctrine system where all your toxins lay in your body. So yes, it does help the head because in traditional Chinese medicine, your toes and all the connection of your toes and your fingers have to do with head energy. So we're just sitting back on those toes and trying to breathe and relax your shoulders. Good. Now bring your hands up to your head and you're going to be touching at a point that is called C10. You'll be able to see it when I press my thumbs into it on my skull. And then I'm taking my pointer fingers and then making a triangle. So as I'm doing that, regain your breath and you just tilt and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You might have to raise up and let go of those rolled toes for a second because it really is intense when you never roll your toes back like that. Okay, and then we're gonna try it to the other side. Roll your toes one more time. Good. Let me just back up. And to the side. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Now you would want to repeat this at least three times, maybe five times. And so that is an exercise called neck acupressure. The other thing that I'd like you to do, as you can see, this is feet up. I highly suggest getting something like this so you can invert yourself. But if you don't have something like this, you can support your neck and go down, head down on your bed, just to make sure that your head is inverted. So I'll show you how we do this. You put your head in and you walk up. Okay, so let's say I've done that for three or four minutes. I didn't do that here. And then for the last exercise, it's called crane, standing crane. Let's see. Your hands are together. My feet are totally together. And I'm going to be, uh, I don't wonder how I'm going to get this done. Oh, standing on one foot and my foot is pointing down. So I'm balancing on one foot. This is crane. You should do it for two minutes on each side. Then 
root yourself, lift up your chest, and make sure you're breathing. My toes, my toes pointed down. And even though it is raining, there's every reason to do a movement and every reason to find something besides aspirin or Tylenol to heal your head.